Hey guys, welcome back to another devlog video for Rogue Arena. Since the last video I've added a huge feature to the game, and that is bots. Currently there are bots for the Rogue, Dwarf, and Orc heroes. I haven't added the Vampire yet due to his complex abilities and it's really situational uses for those abilities. So it all started with pathfinding. I found a website with an implementation for A-Star and I began working on adding it into the game. Once I got that all working, I realized that A-Star allows for diagonal movement, which can cause the boss to walk straight through walls. After a little playing around, I formed a very botched solution that just randomly rotates a point around until the path is out of the wall. This solution doesn't really work, and I'm definitely needing to go back later and fix it. Next, I got the bots to start following the path, and as you can see, it went perfectly. But after some effort, I got it to work a little better. But it was only a little better. Bots still collide and bounce off walls, and it's definitely going to need more work, just like the path rounding. Next, I decided to add the state machine for the bot, as shown by my lovely diagram I drew in paint. The bot starts at an idle state, and this is where it can reset all of its variables like target and path. We use this to set the bot back to its default mode, but this state only lasts for one frame, and then the bot instantly switches to the moving to objective state. If on its way to its goal it encounters an enemy, it will move to its attack state. In this state, it will pursue the enemy until it's either not in range or the enemy is dead. Then it goes right back to the idle state to repeat the process. Some heroes like the Rogue have special substates like when chasing an enemy it can use its roll ability to get closer or the Dwarf when low in health can use its rock heal ability to gain more health. Each hero has special sub properties that allows them to use their abilities to their maximum effectiveness and not just generalized use case scenarios. I'm happy with the current version of the bots, I'll need to go back at some point to touch them up, but for now they're in a good place. And after making it so that they have running animations rather than just the idle animation, they really feel a part of the game. And that was the past two weeks of development. I hope you guys enjoyed, and feel free to comment any ideas or thoughts you have about the game below.